On behalf of AT and Auckland Council, we're really proud in partnership with Kia to recognise a leader who has contributed so much to a sustainable future for our city, our country and our planet. Sir Rob Fenwick. Ko te mihi tuatahi ki a Ngāti Whātua o Rākē. Tēnā koe, Ren, tēnā koe, Prish, ki ora. Mihi nei te whānau o Kia Aotearoa. Mihi te manuhiri kua mihi hi mai nei. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Can I uh, just start by thanking you all for um, honouring me in this way? I'd like to uh, start by um, just congratulating the Kia organisation for the way in which it keeps us Kiwis connected around the world. And I'd particularly like to acknowledge um, one of its um, creators and inspirers, Stephen Tyndall, who uh, isn't with us tonight, as we know, but he's uh, on the beach at, uh, in the Bahamas doing what he's done relentlessly, bringing that bloody cup back to Auckland. (laughs) (laughs) Stephen and I are actually twins. We were were born within a couple of hours of one another in Auckland um, all those many years ago, and and it's just terrific to know that we have people like uh, Stephen who just go on believing in New Zealand technology and that we can, uh, we can win these things. I'd like to um, thank uh, ATEED um, and um, thank you, Brett, and, uh, and its chairman, uh, um, David, uh, who, who I, who's been a, a, a good friend for so many years uh, and, um, and has had this uh, inspirational vision about Auckland being that green jewel in the South Pacific where the world wants to visit and to study and to live and to work. Uh, Finally, the person that I should uh, really thank most of all is my wife, Jenny. Um, uh, Who has been the the rock in, in, in our family. Folks, to whatever extent um, this award um, is about the uh, climate change research that uh, we've been doing in Antarctica, then the trophy should be uh, engraved with the names of dozens of people. Our funders like Air New Zealand, like Julian Robertson, like the National Geographic Society, um, scientists, Scott-based staff, helicopter pilots, training officers, this wonderful family of um, Antarctic uh, science and and research-based enterprise that the world wants to collaborate with. Antarctica, which holds 80% of the world's fresh water frozen in ice on that enormous continent, holds the future of this planet and we really don't know enough about it. We don't know enough what is going on underneath the ice and how fast things are going to move in the future. So this research is enormously important if we're going to improve the predictability of um, investing in coastal infrastructure and particularly in our primary industries that are (coughs) so weather dependent. And um, Prime Minister, I know you get this stuff, and I just want to publish, uh, publicly acknowledge the uplift in funding that Antarctic research received in the last budget. <laughs> uh, and to whatever extent this might um, have something to do with my other passion, which is trying to protect New Zealand's biodiversity from predators, can I, can I just say this? that the predator-free 2050 campaign is, I think, our last shot at this. Predators like rats and stoats and possums and wild cats and so on have been in this country for a century. But their populations now have reached such um, uh, an extent and the decline of our native birds 
has, is in such t a steep decline that we really only have this chance to save them um, because there are going to be extinctions in the lives of our children and our grandchildren. Our beloved Kia is on that list, and even worse is the Kiwi. So this is our last shot at it. And um, I, you know, it's another example of uh, New Zealanders coming together around a common cause, believing in something that is of enormous importance to their national identity and the things that we treasure and love. And I just implore all of you to get behind this program and, uh, and save our beautiful birds. Kia ora tata.